Hi everyone. Here is a quick update on my progress. So yeah, I took uh, apart the kitchen galley and the idea was to create more uh, space in front of the shower or make, you know, some kind of a, a sitting area where, we, you know, you change uh, before the shower and stuff. And also to create some kind of a convertible bed that when I park somewhere with a beautiful, beautiful scenery, I, I'm able to enjoy the back, you know, open the door and just enjoy the beautiful scenery. So this is what I came up with. Alright, so it, the microwave used to be up here, so it's kind of blocked the whole view, okay? And it was a storage down here, and, and right here was the countertop. So I got rid of the countertop and put my microwave down here. I only use it, you know, part time or only use a microwave whenever we cook. So. I don't need it to be sitting up here all the time. So, I put it down here and I make a slide out. Okay. And also my my uh, electric stove, I put it down here if I need to use it. No, nope. we haven't used it, so. But it's, it's there, it's working. The microwave is right here. Okay. And it slides out whenever I need it. And then I slide back in. When I'm done, I also, if I don't want to slide out, I still have access down here. Okay. So, all right. This bed is also convertible. Let me show you the bed part. Alright, so it's going to be the uh, cushion on here. Okay. It's going to be like this. It's my cushion. And, you know, space for changing or uh, when I get out of the shower, I still have all this area here, you know, put my clothes here and everything. And also, this bed, if I want to make it into a bed, it slides down. And this part, is right here. Now I have this whole area here, all the way to the front. That's like eight feet. I don't know, more eight feet plus long. And then I have all this area behind me. It's a sleeping area, just in case you know there's more people traveling with us. But we don't need all that space. It's there. Now I just need to uh, sew the cushion and then put it back in. Now I have more. You know, room to walk in and out, and then all this whole space here open. I also did the front part, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so this is the entrance to uh, to my from my sliding door, where right here. It was before the, the speaker and the stereo and my heater control down here. Now I'm gonna expand it a little bit more. It's only five inches. And then the outer part, I'll show you right now. But yeah, expand this part a little bit. So I have a little bit more area here and storage down here. So this storage here used to be all the way out here. It was, uh, let's see, 
maybe 10, 11 inches out here. Now I push it all back to here, okay, leaving me 22 inches. Now I have this whole area right here, two feet plus. So it opens up this area here, okay. Uh, down here is the storage. There's gonna be more storage here, okay. And then I'm gonna have the uh, uh, lagoon uh, table leg. right here I have two of those um, have one base installed here and the other one I haven't found place for it yet but it's gonna be like this okay and the tabletop is being made right now pretend like this is my tabletop and cushion right here it's going to be Swinging around wherever I needed position, okay. okay. Or I want to just stow it away. It's gonna be in that position, and it's away from the area here. That's the plan. And gotta find out another way to. Uh, another area for that base so that's it thanks for watching everybody thanks for your time and we'll see how the finished product looks like and uh, when it's done I will do another video and don't forget there's another uh, trial video uh, this coming up uh, 4th of July weekend we're going to be in the um, maybe it's Yosemite Mammoth area or the higher elevation there it's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be a lot a lot of us going um, all the camper vans coming along with us so all right can't wait this is going to be my tabletop and I stain it with cornac um, wood um, color stain here. It's a dark wood, dark chocolate, dark coffee, whatever. Um, there, and I'm gonna sand it so it's a little bit light. And I, I'll finish it with a couple coats of um, urethane. This is the clear. This is the uh, ex uh, external exterior um, for UV protection and water seal. This is water based, it's a clear coat. So I'm gonna put a couple of coats of, of this and it's gonna look shiny.